So thank you very much. Good morning, and thank you to a small uh, press committee to have selected this uh, presentation. I'm going to present you the data, uh, main data, but Checkmate 2.14. Uh, this is my disclosure. As you probably know, Checkmate is one of the first combination study of immunotherapy tested in first line in kidney cancer to be reported. So this study looked at uh, combination of nivolumab and ipilimumab uh, at uh, those which have been developed in the phase one, three milligram per kg of nivo plus uh, one milligram per kg of EP every three weeks, followed by uh, continuing treatment with nivolumab every two weeks versus sunitinib as a control arm at the standard dose here. So patients were stratified by uh, risk group and region, and treatment was continued until progression or unacceptable toxicity here. So this study was, um, was made to have a free co-primary endpoint in intermediate and poor risk patients based on previous observation in this group of patients. So objective response rate, PFS and OS, were co-primary endpoint, and the hazard ratio was split uh, between these uh, three co-primary endpoints to get uh, significance here. So we estimated to, we needed more than 1,000 patients to go to our goal, and uh, 820 should be intermediate or poor risk by uh, IMDC criteria here. So we also had a, a list of co-primary endpoints. Some of them will be presented today, some will be presented later on, but as you can see, we also have an intent to treat analysis. We have uh, analysis in good risk patients. We also have some outcome by PDL1 expression that we showed this afternoon and quality of life data, which will be also interesting to see. So let's go to the first uh, co-primary endpoints, response rate and uh, PFS. As you can see, response rate is highly significant in intermediate and poor risk patients, 42 versus 27 percent, which is highly significant in terms of p-value. And interestingly, you can see that duration of response is much longer with EP NIVO than it is with sunitinib. Duration, median duration is not reached yet with NIVO EP here. This is overall survival. So um, just to let you know, uh, these numbers are still under embargo. It's, they are not contained into the, uh, the, um, the late breaking abstract, which is released to embargo this morning. But please uh, keep this, uh, this data confidential until the presidential symposium. That's why I did not put the hazard ratio. But as you can see, it's highly significant in the intermediate and poorest patients here. And the same in intent to treat analysis, where still the OS is significant. You can see that the response rate is still significant, not as the same extent that it is, and PFS now is not significant in the intent to treat analysis. One important question about this combination is whether the toxicity is manageable. As you can see on this slide, which is, of course, like all this toxicity slide, quite busy, Overall, the toxicity of sunitinib in terms of grade three, four is higher than it is with nivo HP. We have the classical toxicity that we know with sunitinib and also with nivo HP, but overall toxicity is less with uh, nivo HP, which translates, interestingly, in a better quality of life and less symptoms in patients treated with nivo HP, which is somewhere good news for all our patients here. So my main conclusion from this study is that the safety profile of NIVO EP is manageable and consistent with what we know. We have more high grade related adverse events uh, with sunitinib. We have better symptom control with NIVO EP. And certainly, this results support NIVO EP to become the new first line standard of care for patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma. Thank you very much. <laughs>